All right, backwards with those arm circles. All right, forward one more time, then we're gonna go into some legs and get our heart rate up. All right, and let's do some high marches. All right, pick up the pace. High knees. We're not doing these through it, so just live it up for these right now if you like them. Keep going for five, three, two. All right, let's take it back to marching. We're gonna do the same thing for butt kicks. So start with some glute kicks. We're gonna slowly pick up the pace to go into a run. If you wanna stay right here, that's okay. Otherwise, pick up the pace. We're gonna do this for five, three, two. All right, take it back down. We're gonna do some inchworms. Go to the edge of your mat. I don't have a mat because it slides all over the place, but touch your toes. If you can only get here, that's okay. Bend your knees as you need to. Walk on out. And walk back up. We're gonna do that a couple more times. Come back up. All right, one more time. Come down and back up. All right, we're gonna do some open close the gates, get our hips ready for some squats. Just take your legs right. Um, is the music in my talking a good level or do I need one higher than the other? We good? All right, close the gate. Guys who are just coming in, we're just a Almost kind of done with our warm up. We're doing close again right now. Working our hip flexors. All right, we're gonna do just a little bit of stretching at the beginning. Stretch out our quads, grab that foot. Hang on to something if you need to. Otherwise, just balancing. We're gonna do this hold for five, three, two. All right, second other quad. Stretching out the front of that leg. So our hip workout today, when we're done with this, is gonna be 10 exercises. We're gonna go through it three times. Each, one, each exercise is gonna be 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We'll take a bigger break in between each like 10 exercise chunk so that we can get water, rest for like 30 seconds instead of 10 seconds. All right, so. Just joined our, if you just joined, warm up a little bit really quick. Um, I'm gonna demonstrate all of the exercises that we're gonna be doing, and then we'll get started. So the first exercise we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be in a squat position, so I'll turn sideways. So knees are not over our toes, pushing that weight into the back, like sit, sitting on a chair, into our heels. It's a nice squat position. So we're gonna jump in and out. So we're gonna go out, in, in. Out, in, in. Trying never to come up out of that 90 degree squat position. So like I said, 30 seconds each exercise, 10 seconds off between the next one. Then we're gonna get down to the floor. We're gonna do some toe reaches. So reach for your toe, come out. If you can, don't let your feet touch the ground, don't let your hands touch the ground. Back up, touch, out. Good modification. It's gonna be just like a crunch. So your hands, your feet are touching the ground. All right, next one. We're gonna do a half burpee to a squat hold. So you're starting in a plank position. So you're gonna go half burpee to squat, back down. All right. Next exercise is gonna be a straight leg sit up. I'll be doing these all with you, so you won't have to think about or remember all these. So your legs stay straight. 
My hands are gonna be across. My hands are gonna be on my shoulders. Straight leg set up. Your legs are not helping you at all. All right, next one is just gonna be a reverse lunge. So we're gonna take a leg, bring it back to a good starting, whatever feels comfortable, bring it down. Again, that knee is not going over that toe, you're sitting back. So we're gonna do alternating reverse lunges. Chest is up, core is tight, like every exercise. Core exercise, I know this is a lot, there's 10 of them. It'll go quick though. Plank up downs, so you're in that plank position, down, up, switch hands, down, up, switch hands, down. So that's gonna work our arms, our shoulders, our core, everything. I lied about that last exercise. So the reverse lunge is gonna be one at a time. So we're gonna do that first reverse lunge with one leg, then we're gonna do the plank up downs, then we're gonna do that second reverse lunge. When you guys get the full 30 seconds with each leg, we're gonna go down to push-ups. We have three exercises left. Thanks for staying with me. So, um, can you make sure your microphone's muted? So, our push-up, modified push-up. Everything's in line, shoulders, hips, knees. You're on the front of those knees. So you're coming down and up, your elbows are at about 45 degrees. We don't want any tabletops like this. Want everything to be straight. Other option, you're up on your feet and you're doing the same thing, but without your knees. Second to last exercise, forearm plank. Hips are dipping, we're working those obliques. Hip to one side, hip to the other side. To one side, hip to the other side. And then we're gonna stay here for that last one. You can be on your forearms or you can be up and do plank jacks and with some cardio, jumping in and out. All right, I know that was a lot. I'm gonna do everything with you. We've got 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Take a long break after those 10 and we're gonna do three rounds. Let me get my music up again and then we will begin. All right, ready? We've got those in and out squats. Ready? Go. Out, out, in, in. You guys got it. Don't come above that 90 if you're, if possible. Guess what? You got 10 seconds left. Let me get a 10 second break. Five, three, two, shake it out. 10 seconds. We're gonna do those toe reaches next. So we've got, this is up next. Ready? Go ahead. You guys keep going. Doing great. Sorry. All right, we've got 10, five, three, two, awesome. 10 second break. We've got the half burpee to the squat hold. Remember, jump up, squat hold, jump back down. Ready? Three, two, go. If this is too much for you, step and come up. Step and maybe come up to a squat. Ideally, we're jumping. 10 seconds left. Almost there. We got five, three, two. Take a break. Straight leg sit up. Ready? Go. You think you can make it harder? Pick up one leg. Pick up two legs. You can always make it harder. 
Over halfway. Woo, feeling it. Keep going. Five. Three. Two. Take a break. Reverse lunge. One leg. Pick one leg. Three. Two. Go. Come back to a comfortable spot. That front knee does not go over. That front toe. Feel it in your glutes. Feel it in your quad that's out front. Feel it in your hamstring. Chest is up, core is braced. Five, three. All right, take a break. Push up, or sorry, plank, up downs. Three, two, go. Remember to switch sides. If that's too hard, take your knees down. Keep doing it. Keep going. Nine. Five. Three. Two. All right. Almost there, guys. Take that other leg you didn't do last time. Reverse lunge. Go face this way. Ready? Go. You want to make this even harder? Bring it up. You're going to engage your core. You're going to get your balance. Otherwise, you can keep it right here. Got 10 seconds. Then we've got push ups. Three, two, good. Push ups. After this, we have two more. All right, let's go. You sweating? So am I. Keep going. If you need to take it down, come down to your knees. Hands are under your shoulders. Elbows at a 45. Five, three, two, all right. Two more guys, then you get a longer break. Plank hip dips. You're on your forearms. Dip in your hips, let's go. Work those obliques. Again, too hard, come down your knees, dipping, less than 10 seconds, five, three, all right, take a break, last one, then we'll take a longer break, grab some water, plank jacks, get your heart rate up before we take a break, go, you can be on your hands, you can be on your forearms. Doesn't matter. Guys, we got 10 seconds. Then you get a break. Five. Three. Two. Get some water. You just did 10 exercises. We're gonna do that two more times. Please be drinking water. Water is important when you're not even doing exercise. All right, we're gonna wait another 30 seconds. Catch your breath. I really want you to just go all out. This is a hit. This is a high intensity interval training. When we're done with these last two rounds, you should be spent. You should not want to do anything else except stretch. All right, in and out squats. You guys ready? All 
All right, let's go. Out, out, in, in. Light on your feet, we're not stomping. Over halfway, your glutes, your quads, your calves, they're all sore. Keep going anyway. Five, three, all the way. And done. Toe reaches, remember? Five, three, go ahead. Coming down here is totally fine. Hold it at the top. 
Come back down. Less than 10. Three, two, all right. Guys, we've got plank, hip dips, working those obliques, working those love handles. Let's go. Go. Are you sweating? I am. Woo! Almost done with that second round. Now five, three, two, woo! Stay brave. Last one, plank jacks. Then we're gonna take a break and one more round. Bring it, let's go.
Come on, spare guys. Ten. Five. Three. Done. Plank up downs. Let's work those arms, shoulders, core, everything. Go. together. You're over halfway. You have 10 seconds left. Now we have five, three, two. All right. That other leg you didn't do. Reverse lunge. Ready? Go. Less than 10 seconds, guys. The five, three, two. You have two exercises left. We have the hip dips, we have plank jacks. That's one minute of exercise. You can do one minute. Ready? Go. You're breathing heavy, good. Keep going. left of your workout. Plank jacks. We're not going to stop. You're almost done. Go. You guys got it. You have 10 seconds. Sorry, it's the timer. Nine, seven, five, three, two. Guys, you're done. Good 2021, right? You started it off great. I'm gonna take you through some stretches you went through your workout, you did amazing. Um, as always, if you guys do need to run right away, um, you can always email the Freddie Mac Fitness Center if you have any questions, comments. I always appreciate those too. If you guys wanna speak out or put in the comments, it always helps me teach a better class. So if you need to run, thank you so much. I'm excited to see you next week. Otherwise, let's stretch. All right, we're gonna take an arm. We did those push-ups today. We did up-down planks, plank jacks. All right. I'm gonna take this at just an average pace. If you're like, that part is really tight, switch arms. Stay there, catch up. Take that left elbow, bring it 
up above your head, grab, grab the elbow with the other hand and pull it back, stretching out your triceps. And keep it for five, three, two, release, same thing. I'm gonna take my right arm, grab that right elbow, bring it back. We're gonna keep it for five, three, good. All right, slow arm circles. Just, we wanna get full range of motion. Don't want you to be super tight tomorrow. Switch directions. All right, we're gonna do some neck circles. In case your neck and shoulders got tense when we were doing anything, switch directions. I don't know about you guys, maybe it's my apartment, I'm sweaty. All right, we're gonna do those same quad stretches we were doing in the beginning. If you wanna hang on to a wall, you can. If you want a deeper stretch with this, grab that foot with the opposite hand. So my left foot, I'm gonna grab it with my right hand and bring it across. That's gonna work your, stretch your deeper muscles in that front part of your leg. I'm gonna keep this for five, three, Two, good, same thing with that other, other quad, front of the leg. Again, deeper stretch, grab it with that other foot. <laughs> grab it with the other foot, grab it with the other hand. Wouldn't that be a trick? Keep it for five. Three, two, good. We're gonna stretch out the hamstrings. So a couple different options. You can always just go ahead and do the touch your toes method, that's good. I like to, so I'm gonna stick that leg out. My left leg is gonna be not locked knee, but straight. I'm gonna bend my right knee and put all of my weight on it. And then you should feel it in that outstretched left leg, the back of your leg or your hamstring. Make sure not to lock any of your knees ever, if you can. It's terrible for your joints and don't want you to fall over. Now hold it for five, three, two, good. Now I want you to keep that position and tap, tap your toe up and down. That's gonna work even deeper into your hamstring and a little bit into your calf, hopefully. Just a couple of those. And when you're ready, go ahead and switch sides. So now my right leg is outstretched, left leg is bent, all my weight on that left leg. And I'm gonna feel it in that outstretched right leg, the back of my leg or my hamstring. Whenever you're ready this time, just go ahead and tap that foot up and down. Keep in mind, even when we're stretching, see my back is straight, I'm not hunching over. Even when we're stretching, my core is still engaged my chest is still straight. My posture doesn't change. That's super important. Just get in the habit, just all the time for everything. Your core, let your core do the work. Don't let your back do, back do the work. All right. Last couple of stretches. We're gonna get into the little butterfly elementary school gym. Grab your feet, bring them in. You can Flutter your wings if you need to. All right, just a little bit there. All right, last couple of stretches. That left leg extends and you're gonna grab your foot. Again, working the hamstring. If you can't reach your foot, that's totally fine. Just grab your leg. All right, five. Three, two, go ahead and switch sides. Again, this is kind of an express, um, grab that foot, express stretch. If you need to hold these or do them after we're done, that's perfectly fine. 
somewhat encouraged. Just make sure you're good and stretched so you're not really sore, so you want to come back next week and you want to work out tomorrow. I just want to give you a base of some good stretches if you don't have any idea. All right, hold it for five, three, two, good. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the HIT class. Each week is a little bit different. Um, we do 